Okay, now, uh, this is my iPhone, but I also, hold it, I'm going to walk away here for a second and grab this. Um, this is a TI-30, I think. Yeah, TI-30. This is, right here, this stuff right here is 3M Scotch Coat. It is some nasty, nasty insulating material. 3M Scotch Coat. It's good. Um, kind of melted, sort of in, you know, alien blood, acid blood, my calculator. All right. Um, this is a really good little calculator. It's like 10 bucks, okay? But look what it's got. It's got the 1 over X button right here, which is awesome. And then it has sine, cosine, and tangent, just like I was showing you on the, on the, um, on the drawing. So if you can find a TI-30, they're like 10 bucks. They're awesome tech school calculators because they've got all these different things on them. But what you need is square root, square, square root, 1 over X, pi, sine, cosine, and tangent. And that's pretty much everything you need for tech school, and it's 10 bucks. So there you go. Okay. Now, the thing is, if you take your iPhone and roll it over, you get this awesome um, grease. You get this awesome, uh, there we go, center it on the screen. Um, same thing. You've got 1 over x, square root, and then you've got sine, cosine, and tangent. And then if you hit the second button, it goes to sine minus one. Okay, don't let that, don't, don't get pissed off by that. That's just telling you you're going from the ratio to the angle, and that tells you you're going from the angle to the ratio. So all we're doing is we're going back and forth from an angle to a ratio, and if you know the ratio, you know the angle. If you know the ra angle, you know the ratio. All right, so this is very simple. We're just dividing two numbers. That's all we're doing, guys. We're dividing two numbers, but your job is to understand which two numbers we're dividing and why. All right, so let me go back to the page. I'll draw you something, and then um, it should make a little bit more sense. So we've got sine, cosine, and tangent. And we've got our triangle here, hypotenuse, adjacent, nope, that's wrong. Opposite, sorry, almost screwed that up. Adjacent, there's the angle. Okay, so here's how this works. You just memorize these. You're going to meet, and I know that this will probably, whatever, I don't know how to, I, I don't know any other way to teach this, so please don't be offended. It was the way I was taught. You're going to meet Indian chief. Please don't be offended. It's what I was taught. So ka toa. Indian chief Sokotoa. I know, I know, I know, I know, but I don't know any other way to teach it. Sign. Cosine tangent. Sine, cosine, tangent. Opposite, adjacent, opposite, hypotenuse, hypotenuse, adjacent. Sokatoa. Okay? Now I suppose I could, you know. Okay, this is supposed to be respectful. It's not supposed to be annoying. It's supposed to be respectful. I a total total for Native Americans, but this is just one of those things that you can learn. Okay, sorry, so if, please send all complaints to me, I suppose. Sokatoa, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent equals opposite 
over adjacent. That's just the way it works. So if I have an angle here, and I know the length from the edge of the roof to the center point where the ridge post is going to go, and I know that the tangent is opposite over adjacent, if my ridge post is 9 feet opposite over adjacent, if the run from the center point of the roof to the edge of the roof is 13 and a half feet, opposite 9 divided by 13 0.5 equals 0 0.6666666 that was a complete accident and I'm I hope that doesn't bother anybody let's let's choose it let's choose different numbers yeah let's choose different let's choose different numbers okay so we're gonna say that the height is is um, um, it's a kind of a low attic so it's gonna be like seven feet high and 17 feet, he says hopefully, 17 feet, ah, 0.411. What does that mean? All right, well, if I draw that actual kind of triangle, if it's only seven feet high, but there's seven, and there's seven, and there's 14, and there's three, then this is what the triangle looks like. It actually looks like that. It's a low roof, okay? So if this is seven, and this is 17, then what that means is the opposite height is 0.411 or about 40% of the length of the run. That's all that means. That's all we're doing is we're making a number to represent the ratio of the height over the length. This is how you cut stairs, guys. Okay? So that's what it means. That's that's what that that's that's what we're doing here. We're just taking numbers that we can measure with a tape measure. Seven feet high, 17 feet long. We're taking that number's opposite. Nope, there. That number is adjacent because it's next to the angle, next to the roof. Okay, well, what does that mean? That means that our ratio is 0 0.411. Well, what angle is that? Well, that's easy. I hit the second button because now I'm going to go from the ratio to the angle, and I hit tangent. That tells me that the angle right here coming off the roof is 22.38 degrees. So you can cut your rafter at 22.38 degrees. Well, that's 90, and that's 22.38. That's 90, and that's 22.38. So what is that? Well, it's easy. You subtract 90. 67.62. So this angle is 67.62 degrees. This angle is 90. This plus this plus this equals 180. That's all this is. Okay? If you understand the height of a ridge post and you understand the length of a run of a roof and you understand how to divide two numbers and you can memorize tangent 
is the opposite over adjacent, then you can know that that's 22.38 degrees and that's 67.62 degrees.